Although it's not a universal rule, in general, the best superhero movie adaptations are faithful to the comic books they're based on, and that includes in terms of the character aesthetics. However, for various reasons, a number of characters in superhero movies have been barely recognizable in terms of their physical appearance when compared to the source material. In most cases, this results in a fan backlash, which kind of makes you wonder why the movie makers thought it was a good idea to change the way they look in the first place. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most extreme examples. Here are 10 superhero movie characters who look nothing like the comics. Wolverine Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is a rare example of a superhero movie character who has proven to be extremely popular, in spite of the fact that he doesn't really look like his comic book counterpart. Sure, he's muscular, has the same hair and the claws, but that's where the physical resemblance ends. Jackman is more than 6 feet tall, whereas Wolverine classically hovers around the 5.5 feet mark. And, most notably, movie Wolverine lacks the iconic yellow costume of comic book Wolverine. Still, the eight X-Men movies that Jackman has appeared in so far would suggest that it's done the character no harm. Apocalypse It was a long wait for a villain as monstrous as Apocalypse in the X-Men movie universe, so when he was announced as the antagonist in 2016's X-Men Apocalypse, fans were excited. Unfortunately, instead of the hulking seven-foot-tall brute from the comic books who's as wide as two average men, we were given a fairly unintimidating villain. Moreover, his coloring was different. Instead of the classic vibrant blue colored armor, he wore a drab, grayish blue costume, and in some promo pics, even looked a weird shade of pinky purple. He looked more like a low budget Doctor Who villain than he did the legendary mutant from the comic books. Enchantress Suicide Squad is open to some pretty scathing reviews, and one of the reasons it is being criticized is the over-sexualization of its female characters. Cara Delevingne's Enchantress is a prime example, as Warner Brothers have made her look completely different to the comic book version in order to make her sexier. In the comics, Enchantress classically wears a grand, green, flowing dress and gown, but Warner Brothers took advantage of the fact that gorgeous fashion model Delevingne was portraying the character by putting her in what was essentially a chainmail bikini. It was really quite unnecessary, and quite a lot of people have taken offense to it. Lex Luthor Superman's arch-nemesis Lex Luthor has been portrayed by three different actors, Gene Hackman, Kevin Spacey, and Jesse Eisenberg, in five live-action movies, and none of them have really looked anything like the classic comic book version. They've all ended up bald, which is Luthor's most distinguishing feature, but the classic Luthor also has very recognizable, stern, and chiseled facial features that none of the actors who've played him have possessed. He's also quite a muscular man who's actually very capable of handling himself in physical combat, and none of the actors who have played him have had that quality. Doctor Doom both movie versions of Doctor Doom, Julian McMahon's and Toby Kebbell's, have been terrible. But McMahon's at least resembled the comic book version of the character physically. Kebbell's 2015 version, however, eh, not so much. As well as having very different origins to the classic version of Doom, Kebbell's version looked absolutely nothing like him. His armor and iconic metal mask were replaced by an all-over metallic look that came courtesy of being fused to his spacesuit. His regal green cloak was replaced with what was essentially a dark green rag and his entire body was covered in lacerations that emitted a green glow reminiscent of the environment that gave him his powers, and they certainly aren't seen on the comic book version. Hawkeye Jeremy Renner has now played Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, in four MCU movies to date, and he's yet to look anything like how the character looks in the comics. Classically, Hawkeye wears a purple costume with a very striking purple mask, but the MCU version wears something far more practical. It's black for starters, making it more covert, although there is a touch of dark purple in the latest incarnation in Civil War, and most noticeably, there's no mask. Although, to be fair to Marvel Studios, the mask probably wouldn't have looked great in live action. <laughs> Bullseye There wasn't much about 2003's Daredevil movie to speak positively about. It was absolutely awful, and Colin Farrell's portrayal of Bullseye epitomized that. He wasn't very good in general, but the fact that he looked nothing like the comic book version of the character really didn't help. Bullseye is known for wearing an all-over bodysuit that includes a headpiece with a bullseye printed on it. Farrell's version simply wore street clothes, a leather coat, leather trousers, and a black vest. Although he did have a bullseye-shaped scar on his head, like the comic book version does under his costume. Poor Farrell looks rather stupid, to be honest. Aldrich Killian Guy Pearce portrayed Aldrich Killian in 2013's Iron Man 3, but this Aldrich Killian was different in many ways to the version in the comic books, not least because he also claimed to be the MCU's version of the Mandarin. However, he didn't look anything like the comic versions of Killian or the Mandarin. 
Pierce's Killian had slicked back blonde hair and mostly wore a suit, while the comic book version had side parted black hair and tended to wear lab clothes. And as for not looking like the Mandarin, well, the Mandarin is a Chinese character in the comic books, and wears grand oriental gowns and ten rings that possess various superpowers. Pierce's character really couldn't look less like him if he tried. Galactus when it comes to superhero movie characters looking nothing like how they do in the comics, there's no better example than Galactus. Galactus appeared as the main antagonist in 2007's Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, and he was about as far removed from the gigantic humanoid in purple armor that fans know from the comics as it was possible to be. This version was simply an enormous, world-devouring cloud, with no discernible personality or characteristics. It was arguably the worst depiction of any comic book character on film in history. Although we must admit that a planet-eating giant in purple armor might have looked a bit silly on film too. I'm kind of lonesome back here. Deadpool. The 2016 version of Deadpool totally nailed the character in every respect. But the previous version from 2009's X-Men Origins Wolverine absolutely sucked. This Deadpool was topless, wore elasticated trousers, had blades protruding from his hands, had his mouth sewn shut, and was covered in pen markings. Talk about butchering a character. Did you enjoy this video? Have your say in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.